Okay, let me set up. You guys prefer a mission whereby the AI does this, all right? Or look at this guy. I have a couple of them sitting down there. So, in your opinion, which is more immersive? Okay, just now we saw a too simple demonstration of AI animation and behavior. So, um, in the first example, we have all the AI placed as exactly we wanted. We want this guy to be outside of the perimeter uh, doing the guard duty. So, another one is on the rooftop. Uh, and another two are sitting down here taking a break or having a chit chat so if you notice in the first clip uh, the, all the AI are actually kind of clueless standing still staring at nothing okay compared to the second clip uh, you can see this guy is looking around this guy is uh, standing with his weapon on his side so watching around as well these two are sitting on the floor having chit chat like taking a break so I'm gonna share a simple script uh, which is in the uh, BIS forum. So the script is fairly simple. It's this, uh, which means that is we select this unit, this watch. So there are a few default animations that you can use. Uh, for me, the most common animation that I use is watch, stand, sit low, lean. And there are a few more which I don't really use because I don't really find it useful. So next we call script call bis underscore fnc underscore ambient and name combat. Okay, uh, what does it mean that uh, once the AI uh, is in danger, which means that it's from a safe or aware state, it, ch uh, it changed to combat. So it will break free from the uh, animation, uh, animation sequence then it will start to behave normally and start to look for targets so in this case this guy I'll put as watch so uh, for watch basically I just give a brief description watch basically he'll be standing still in one place but he'll maintain a 360 perimeter means he'll be looking around 360 so the next one is stand stand is pretty much like watch just that he'll stand while watching at a uh, single direction if you face if you make him face this wall he'll be watching whatever in front of him so next we have a sit low okay the reason being I remember most of the script because I've been doing uh, mission editing for quite some time so all the script are pretty much uh, familiar to me so without further ado let's test it out Okay, as usual, let's get back to our same spot. Deploy bipod. Okay, as you can see, the first guy, he is kind of like on a guard, or a, not an alert state, he's on a guard state, whereby he's holding his weapon, he's looking around, searching for targets. Whereby the second guy up there is pretty relaxed. Uh, he has this kind of cool animation, sometimes he'll put the weapon on the side. So let's start. Let's shoot this guy. Dead. So, all right. The moment when he's changed to from safe to sorry from safe aware and to combat state, he'll uh, break free from the animation and start to search for target. So you will not have whereby the AI will be forever playing the same animation loop, and it's way way more immersive so i think that's pretty much about it uh, i hope you like this video uh, if you like my content please subscribe and like uh, leave a comment if you want i'll be happy to answer if any comments uh, arise right see you next time